Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. Today, we are going to see the content and security in Yammer. We're going to go one by one with them and hopefully it's it's a short video. If not, then I have to cut it in two. Let's dive in. So, this is the monitor keyword. So, if uh, since you say social media and you want to make sure that some of the uh, like uh, everybody everybody is adhere to your policy but you might want to put some keywords that you don't want them there or you want to keep an eye if it depends for example if uh, you want to see there's a product launch and you want to see um, um, for example, uh, the group is about uh, uh, Galaxy S11. And you want to see what people are talking about S11. Are they praising it or they have negative reviews in your group or whatever. Um, so you can put in there. You can also use the words that are offensive and you want to s keep an eye on if somebody is using them, you want to go and remove or block that user. So this is how the monitor keyword will use uh, work. I think, so I thought that maybe it's the comma one, no, but the each line has to be an, uh, like, it has to be S11, Galaxy, Samsung, and then stupid, idiot, so, you know, you want to monitor if somebody is calling an idea stupid or another person stupid something like that and you want to see if you people are liking the s11 or they are disliking it so you can save it so each has to be a, uh, in its own line you cannot do the comma separation let's go to the security setting i'm not gonna s i can save it actually let's see so i'm going to use that in some of my uh, uh, messages and see what pops up and how let's go to the security setting <clears throat> now this one looks important set an IP range for your network to only allow it to be accessed accessed from your office network or VPN so be, be when you uh, give the VPN uh, they use your office uh, IP address range that is specially for VPN devices so it's not like uh, <coughs> they are mixed so vpn ranges usually are different than whatever is physically connected because remember vpn uh, a user has your laptop that's company's property they could take it to home or they are in a, a, another uh, you know they are in another city and they are uh, <coughs> connecting to work from there that laptop so you can define the range of those um, ip address like what's the start what's the end and then you name it and add another IP range if you you know you can add all those IP ranges here <coughs> so what happens when someone tries to log into an application from outside this IP range there are two things you can either allow them login if they are trying to log in uh, if you set the IP range do you want to or not deny login and then there is a warning that all the mobile uh, logins they will be failed <coughs> external messaging it's basically allow user in this network to participate in groups converse conversations in other network do you want your users to be able to send uh, messages in other groups and external networks or do you want external users to come and participate in your groups or uh, network in your conversation so the second one is a little bit stricter you want <laughs> because you have full control over your users you can you know they work from your organization so you're allowing them to go and make comments in other groups but you don't want anybody else from outside to come and in, comment or participate in your groups with the exception of those that you have invited remember in the last video we did invite 
and the third one is the most strict one you are not allowing either yours or the external users to uh, cross uh, message 365 identity enforcement so basically it says is that if they have and this should be for your users only like if they have a Yammer account and they were trying they were accessing it uh, um, through the um, Yammer uh, account you can enforce it but I see it's grayed out so Microsoft made it um, like compulsory and we saw that uh, all uh, there were deactivated user here somewhere when we uh, saw last uh, night <clears throat> so they have to have a 365 identity and in order for that they have to have a license 365 license so this one has been grayed out so all the user in yammer needs to log in with the 365 account and i've been playing teams uh today a little bit more and i'm pretty sure that yammer and skype are 100% gone block office 365 users without Yammer licenses so if a user it has 365 but uh, I can sh try to show you uh, license and apps here so you see all the apps so if mobile device management so if the guy is stripped of Yammer then this per user the aslan he cannot log into yammer he has office 365 he just does not have the privilege to go to yammer i'm gonna cancel this <clears throat> so this is very simple and connected yammer groups all right so it's like uh, irrelevant now because it says once your organization has committed and we see it's already been enforced there's no way for me to uncheck it so this automatically applies but it's simply meaning that <coughs> a connected group will be enabled like if they are all the connected group are automatically enabled for this network as well that we setting up <coughs> export network data is exactly like we saw the export user data so you see date range <coughs> data include attachment or not in tool external network or not and you can export it in a csv format export user data <coughs> i think it's just that of an existing use okay so that user data was for everybody this one is for one particular one for example if i want to now I can export Ali's data so only one user if I want to <coughs> so let's type this word for so for uh, if I had to export his data then I can uh, search for another guy another person so what happens if I refresh this page <coughs> yep let's go and search for Aslan so Aslan is right there and I can export his data <coughs> this is a bummer there should be a cross mark here but other than that okay data retention <coughs> very simple it's giving you two options this setting applies to your entire company network you can either delete it or you can archive it most of the companies especially with the uh, Facebook <coughs> when they offered it they you know what basically what they do is even when you delete it it's not deleted uh, you just don't see it and when we were uh, seeing that uh, <coughs> option here remove user last night we saw what it means so basically what happens is you are simply not seeing it uh, but the data is still there in the back end and that can be retrieved <coughs> so it, that uh, it, this applies to all the social media so whatever you post uh, even if you delete it, it it stays there for like a certain period of days and then it gets deleted so deleted data is immediately removed from user view 
see so you cannot see it but remain available for data exports for 30 days so okay so for yammer it's 30 days but i think other one are 90 but i'm not really not sure it could be different for different companies or you know this is like uh, technical jargon so in this these line it's saying that whatever you stored in yammer will be deleted in 30 days but if you have hosted something in other resources that is subject to that hosting resources policies deletion policies archive immediately remove <coughs> from user view remain available for data export for the life of the tenant so tenant is our uh, account so for example your <coughs> your company is the tenant not the user user is different than a tenant so <coughs> as long as for example my group is called charter don't um, uh, or it could it your company could be called uh, your company abc or abc or xyz so as long as that company the tenant the company aka uh, is equal to tenant is hosted in 365 this data is going to be there it can be deleted using this like deleted by our you know this technical thing gdpr on still so even if you delete it from here using this the uh, the files hosted on other sources like sharepoint and other thing um it could be like emails or uh, whatever they are uh, subject to the deletion policies of that resource so SharePoint <coughs> basically is um, like it's hosting it's web hosting but it's not public web hosting you could make a web server out of it but basically this is an internal web host so <coughs> Uh, like all the web websites they are public you can go and access them online from any computer the SharePoint sites they are internal for they can be accessed only to internal means like uh, you have to go in your office or you have to VPN it to access those websites they are hosted internally and they uh, they give you all kind of information uh, for example it could be if the you could put an equipment library there you could uh, host your whole um, company's um, address book uh, or you can host uh, help pages and extensive help pages. I'm not talking about five ten hundreds of thousands of them so that is for SharePoint so that provides help uh, basically help kind of websites for internal users the last one is content mode <coughs> default mode is set I don't I have no idea what the default is private content mode is you will see private messages ah okay so default mode basically that means that you cannot see uh, <coughs> there's a IO right there so it makes sense so basically default mode is the content that is in private messages uh, even if you are admin you cannot see them but if you check this you can see the people's private groups that you're not member of <coughs> so but they say do not turn this mode on because you will be in trouble if you do that that's a uh, kind of spying or you know illegal surveillance kind of that and you you're not authorized to do that <coughs> legal reason to do so that would be like if you were told by a legal authority that you have to turn this on keep an eye at post or you know send thing it only applies to your individual admin account and this setting is only for the admins <coughs> so basically you the admin all right, so that was all for content and security. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this video here. Um, if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, like, subscribe, and share. And you have a good night.